Hello, I'm Anthony Vaughn with Texas Instruments Precision Analog Marketing Team. Today I will demonstrate how to set up TI's ADS-9110 Performance Demonstration Kit. The ADS-9110 is an 18-bit, single-channel, 2 mega samples per second precision ADC. The device features a unipolar differential input and the innovative new multi-spy digital interface that solves many throughput challenges while remaining backward compatible with traditional SPI communication. This performance demonstration kit for the ADS-9110 is ideal for acquiring data and evaluating several performance aspects of the ADC. This kit includes a quick start guide, a micro USB cable, two small circuit boards, and mounting screws. One board is the Precision Host Interface, or PHY, and the other board is the ADS-9110 Evaluation Board, or EVM. The PHY serves as an interface between the PC and the EVM. The PHY board features a TI Citara AM3352 embedded processor, an FPGA, a micro USB connector, and an SMA connector. There is also a connector on the bottom of the board that attaches to the ADS-9110 EVM board. The EVM board features the ADS-9110 ADC, two differential input SMA connectors, two OPA625 low distortion ADC drivers, a 4.5 volt REF 5040 based reference, a composite zero offset reference buffer, a TPS 7A4700 low noise LDO, and a connector for the PHY board. To get started using the kit, first download and install the software available at ti.com slash tool slash ADS9110 EVM dash PDK. The software must be installed on a PC running Windows 7. After the software has been installed, connect the PHY board to the EVM board like this. To avoid damaging the connectors, the screws included with the kit should be used to make a secure connection between the two boards. Next, plug one end of the micro USB cable into the PC and the other end into the PHY. The green power LED will illuminate on the EVM board indicating that the board is being properly powered. After communication between the PC and the PHY board has been established, launch the ADS9110 software. Once the software has been installed, it can be launched by going to the Windows Start menu and selecting the ADS9110 EVM application. Once the software has finished loading, it will open the data monitor screen. Several ADC settings can be made with the controls on the left side of the screen. Several multi-spy digital interface parameters, including S-clock frequency and the number of SDO data pins to use for the digital data transfer may be configured. You may also select the sampling rate for the ADC in this screen. The data monitor screen will allow you to select the number of samples to take. Pressing the Capture button will start the data acquisition. After the data has been captured, it will be shown as a waveform on the screen. You can zoom into a portion of the waveform to look at specific samples more closely. This window will also allow you to right-click on the waveform in order to copy the data and paste it into another application for further analysis or processing. Since this kit has been optimized for linearity, I'd also like to show you the Linearity Analysis window. This window will allow you to analyze the differential nonlinearity, or DNL, and the integral nonlinearity performance of the ADS9110. To perform the analysis, simply click the Analyze button on the window. The DNL and INL will be displayed on the graphs in the window. You may zoom in on the data in either of the two graphs. The measurements area of the window will display parameters like max and min, INL, and DNL, in addition to hits per code and missing codes. Other parameters of the 9110, like signal to noise ratio, total harmonic distortion, and effective number of bits can be viewed in the performance analysis window. In addition, a histogram analysis window is also available to help evaluate the performance of the ADC. For more information about TI's precision SAR ADCs or to order the ADS9110 development kit, please visit ti.com slash product slash ADS9110. I hope that you have found this overview useful. Thank you for watching.